So, so far in the class, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about parabolas, and we talked about circles, and we talked about ellipses. All right. Each one of those times, we introduced some new terminology: foci, centers, well, centers, vertices, right? Um, and then also talk about uh, directrix and so forth. Well, now we're going to come into our last conic section, all right, which is going to be very much related, especially with all the formulas and the information provided. So what I'm going to do is first graph an ellipse. All right. And on an ellipse, there are certain parts of information that we have. All right. For an ellipse, if you guys remember, we had the center, we had foci, and we had vertices. All right. And one way we kind of maybe sometimes thought about an ellipse was pretty much like two parabolas facing towards each other, right? Because when you had that parabola, that's how you kind of got that fo the um, foci, right? The foci kind of helps you do that. But when we came through with the definition of a um, an ellipse, what we talked about, the definition of an ellipse is for any point on this ellipse, the sum of our two lines are constant for wherever my point is. So a1 plus a2 is going to equal to b1 plus b2, right? For any two points, it doesn't matter where the point is, the distance to the foci when you add those up, that's equal for every point on an ellipse. All right, that's a quick little review. So now what we're gonna what we're gonna be talking about is talking about hyperbolas. All right, and hyperbola is very similar to an ellipse, but rather than having our kind of two parabolas folks are showing towards each other, now what they're going to do is now we're going to have them go in the opposite direction. All right. Now, since we've been talking about our parabolas, does it make sense for our foci to be outside of our parabolas? No. Our foci are now going to be a little bit moved. So now, if you guys notice, when we're looking at the distance from our center, our center is still going to remain the same. But now we're going to notice that the vertice is closer to the center than the foci is. And that's going to become very important when we're going to start talking about this stuff. So now I no longer have my foci inside. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a foci and my vertices. I still have my center. But now what I want to do is just kind of talk about um, what is the definition of a hyperbola, all right? And just to kind of go through it, the definition of a hyperbola is going to be for any point on my hyperbola, the difference of the distance between the two points is constant. So a1 minus a2 is equal to So we're not needing to be get that much deep into it, but what you guys can understand is now, for an ellipse, it was the sum was constant, right? You took the distance to your two foci for many points, and it was equal. Now, for an ellipse, it's the difference of your two distances to your foci. So the difference of a1 minus a2 is the exact same value as the difference between b1 and b2. And it doesn't matter where I pick my point. Anywhere on this ellipse or on this hyperbola, when I take the difference of their distances between to the two foci, it's going to be constant. All right? So that's your definition of your hyperbola. All right? Now, the next thing that we'll get into is what are the characteristics of the hyperbola?